Uh, all right, guys, go to Boy32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Office. Just got back today from testing out the Ultimate PCC. Ran into my good friend Moneybags out there. And man, I tell you what, it's really good to see him. I haven't shot a firearm in a, in a very long time. So it's, it's like being home, to pull the trigger, to go shoot whenever you want to. And speaking of which, the reason we're doing this video is I got a good <laughs> got a text message from my good friend, Jared, over at Guns and Gadgets. Uh, today, we talked about the HR8 and HR1446. And in our conversation earlier, I was explaining to you basically what those are. One is they're trying to get rid of the so-called, uh, what do you call it, the Charleston loophole which would give individuals or uh, not even elected officials, but individuals, bureaucrats, the ability to keep you from purchasing a firearm. If they wanted, they literally could. And then secondly, we're talking about HR8, which is the universal background check. So if you have a good friend who uh, you wanted to let borrow a firearm to go hunting with, well, guess what? That's an illegal transfer, and uh, you may go to jail because of that. The only people that you can actually let borrow are immediate family, uh, aunts and uncles, and things like that. Okay. What are we doing? Today they went ahead and deliberated it all. They argued all the cases and everything, the pros and the cons and everything else. Unfortunately, Congress, <laughs> there were three rhinos uh, that actually voted to go ahead and go with it. It just blows my mind. So what's going to happen is tomorrow morning the House is going to vote on this thing, and then what's going to happen is it's going to go to the Senate. Now, our only saving grace, and I said this this morning, our only saving grace is Joe Manchin. He is the only individual who could save the day. One, if he decides to go ahead and not nuke the filibuster, that's going to be the best thing that ever happened to us because they have to get a 60-40 split in order to get this thing voted through. Secondly, but in the event that they do nuke the filibuster, then it's a, it's the simple majority, which you're going to get a 50-50 split, and then Kamala Harris is going to go in there, and she's going to vote. And then we have universal background checks, and yes, uh, there is the word via John Crump. Uh, thanks, John, for returning my email that they will, this will reflect also on the uh, concealed Harriet handguns, where, like in North Carolina, I want to go buy a gun, I present my concealed carry permit, and they go ahead, we fill out the 4473, and I take the gun home. If under this law, I will have to fill out a NICS check. Now, there's a lot of states out there who are saying we're going to be sanctuary states. I wish you guys all the best of luck. I wish North Carolina would do that. I think they, they may, but with Roy Cooper as our governor, uh, that guy is, is spineless anyway. He won't buck the system. So to answer your question, Dave, I think it's Dave. Anyway, that's it. Um, so here's the deal. Joe Manchin, I am going to put down all the information down below in how to contact him. Okay, we're going to have the, his website. And if you look at the bottom of the website is all his contact information. You need to, if you would, please pick up the phone and call those numbers call them. Let him know how much we appreciate the fact that he stands on the side of right versus what these idiots who have never purchased a firearm, they have no skin in the game, they don't care. The Second Amendment means nothing to these folks. Let's talk about this. Also, we're going to have put link to his Facebook, Joe Manchin, and then also his Instagram account. Spend a little time. Join in on the fight. Because this is so important, guys. It literally is. This is a call to action for the 2A crowd. And this is a time for us to come together. Not for us to fight, but a time for us to come together and try to act cohesively and not sit here and make fun of this video or anything else or, you know, call crap or we're going to have to do this or do this. The real objection here is to get a hold of Joe Manchin let him know how important his vote is to not just the West Virginians, but the, everyone across the country. So that's it. I wanted to come to you. It's a call to action this evening. I was going to do the uh, EP, uh, and whatever the hell this thing's called, uh, into, in, EP Integrations. I can never remember the name of this thing. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have a lighter, so I can't light the damn torch. I will do it tomorrow. So with that being said, guys, uh, 
always end them like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hell, give it a thumbs down. Doesn't matter to me. I prefer a thumbs up. Uh, God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. And yeah, there are several people out there who are in uniform who will fight for our constitutional rights as you did one day when you wore your uniform. If they give you an order and you know it's illegal, don't follow it. That's it. I'm KB32 and I am out of here. Y'all make sure you call that information up. Please be good. And thanks, Jared. You know we always got your six, brother. And thanks, John Crump, for answering emails today. I appreciate it. Y'all be good.